In this video, we will discuss what it means to withdraw from a New Jersey administered retirement system, who is eligible to withdraw, and the implications withdrawing has on your New Jersey pension membership. We will also take a step-by-step -step look at the withdrawal application. The information presented in this recording is intended for members of the Public Employees Retirement System, also called PERS, the Teachers Pension and Annuity Fund, or TPAF, and the Police and Firemen's Retirement System, or PFRS. It is important to note that only individuals whose employment has ended are eligible to withdraw from their retirement system. Participation in PERS, TPIF or PFRS is a condition of employment if the employee's position meets the retirement system's enrollment criteria. It is also important to note withdrawing from the pension system is not the same as applying for a pension loan. For more information regarding pension loans, please see the pension loans fact sheet available on our website or the applying for a pension loan video available in our video gallery. If your employment has ended, you do not have to withdraw your contributions immediately following your last day of work, as your pension account will automatically remain active for two years following the date of your last pension deduction. Should you return to covered employment before the two-year period ends, and assuming you have not withdrawn your contributions, you may continue your membership in the retirement system. This is contingent upon the new position meeting the eligibility requirements for your membership tier. If you return to covered employment in another retirement system within the two-year period and have not withdrawn your contributions, you can request an interfund transfer, which will allow you to transfer your service credit, enrollment date, membership tier, and contributions to your new account. If your previous account has expired or you have withdrawn your contributions, you will not be able to complete an interfund transfer. For more information on interfund transfers, please see your employer. If your employment ended due to a layoff or your position was abolished, you may be eligible to have your account expiration delayed. Please note that a non-renewal of contract is not considered a layoff or a position abolishment. For more information regarding delayed account expirations, see the Withdrawal from the Retirement System fact sheet available on our website. If your employment has ended and you wish to withdraw, you may withdraw your pension contributions only, minus any outstanding loan balances or other pension obligations. PERS and TPIF members will also receive a small amount of interest if they have at least three years of pension service credit at the time of withdrawal. Partial withdrawals are not permitted. Any unresolved legal matters concerning your termination will delay the payment of your withdrawal and will not be paid until the legal matters have been resolved. In addition, the division cannot process a withdrawal if you were dismissed from service and appealing the dismissal. If the appeal is found in your favor and your employment is reinstated, the withdrawal application will be canceled and you will continue participating in the retirement system. If the dismissal stands, formal documentation from your employer outlining the final determination of the appeal is required before your withdrawal claim can be processed. Upon your withdrawal, all rights and privileges of membership end. If you meet the retirement eligibility requirements for your retirement system and membership tier, and still choose to withdraw, you will forfeit your monthly retirement benefits. If you return to covered employment after your withdrawal, you will be considered a new pension member and enrolled in the appropriate retirement system if applicable. When applying for withdrawal, you will be required to select a payment option. If you'd like the payment made to you, the IRS requires the division to withhold 20% for federal taxes on your taxable portion. However, you can elect to withhold more than 20% if your actual tax liability is different. If you are not 59 and a half at the time of your withdrawal, you may have to pay an extra tax equal to 10% of the taxable portion when you file income tax for that year. A 1099 will be issued in the tax year your pension is dispersed. 
you can elect your contributions be rolled over to a traditional IRA or another eligible employer-sponsored retirement plan to postpone paying income tax on your distribution. Your qualified plan must already be established before requesting the rollover, and you must verify that your plan will accept the funds. The rollover check will be sent to you, and you will be responsible for forwarding it to your plan. You can also request a partial rollover with the remaining balance paid to you. You will be required to follow the same rules as previously described for both payment options. For more information regarding payment options, see the Tax Information for Pension Distributions fact sheet available on our website. Your payment option is irrevocable once your withdrawal application is submitted, so it's imperative that you understand all tax implications before submitting your application. The division cannot offer you tax advice. Therefore, you may want to consult with a professional tax advisor before you make a payment selection. Your withdrawal application is submitted online through the Member Benefits Online System, or MBOSS for short. To begin, select the Application for Withdrawal button from the MBOSS homepage. To exit the application for withdrawal any time before your final submission, click on the Home button which will be located at the top of your MBOSS screen. On the first page, you must certify that you read the Tax Information for Pension Distributions fact sheet and understand the tax implications associated with withdrawing your pension. If you have not read the fact sheet, click the Fact Sheet number 27 hyperlink to be redirected to it. When you are ready to proceed, click the Yes button. If your pension account is vested or you have met the retirement requirements for a service retirement for your retirement system and membership tier, a message will appear alerting you that you may be eligible for retirement benefits. If you wish to review an estimate of your retirement benefits, select the Click Here hyperlink to be redirected to the MBOSS Retirement Estimate Calculator. Remember, if you are eligible for retirement benefits, but choose to withdraw your pension contributions, you will forfeit your monthly retirement benefits. When ready, click the Continue with the Withdraw Application button to go on to the next page. If you are not vested or eligible for retirement benefits, you will not see this screen and will begin on the next page. Provide your current contact information at the top. At the bottom of that screen, answer the questions regarding your termination of employment. When done, click the Continue with the Withdrawal Application button. If you are receiving periodic benefits under workers' compensation or have a workers' compensation claim or litigation pending, applying for a withdrawal may jeopardize those benefits. To continue with your withdrawal, you must complete a waiver of any pension benefits associated with a workers' compensation award. See the Workers' Compensation Fact Sheet for more information. If our records indicate that you are eligible for a pension benefit, you will need to waive those monthly retirement benefits before proceeding. Select the appropriate bubble and then click Continue with the Withdrawal Application button. If you opted to waive your monthly retirement benefits and continue the withdrawal process, you will select how you wish to have your withdrawal distributed. If you chose a direct payment, you must indicate what percentage you'd like withheld for federal taxes. It is recommended that you review the linked W-4R form to determine how much federal tax to withhold. When ready, click Continue with the Withdrawal Application button. If you elect to have the payment made to you, you must agree to the pension withdrawal terms regarding your payment being electronically deposited to your bank via an electronic funds transfer, or EFT. Once you have thoroughly reviewed the terms, check the box to indicate you have read and agree to the terms. Then click OK. A new page will open with fields for you to provide your bank information. Select the type of account from the drop-down menu. Then you will enter your bank account number in the appropriate field and then re-enter it in the field below to confirm your account number. Next, enter your bank's nine-digit routing number in each field indicated. Then click the Continue button. The direct deposit information you have provided will appear. 
verify that the information listed is correct. To make any corrections, click the Back button. Otherwise, click the Continue button to proceed to the Withdraw Application Summary page. If you chose Payment Option 2 or 3, you will have to indicate whether the plan is an IRA, an employer-sponsored plan, or a Roth IRA, and provide the name of the financial institution or employer plan. If you decide to roll over a portion of your contributions to another plan, you must also indicate the amount you would like to roll over in addition to the percentage you wish to be withheld for federal income tax. Once all of the requested information has been provided, carefully review your application summary. To update your contact information, click the Change Address button. To change your payment option, tax withholding, or direct deposit information, click the Change Distribution button. If everything is correct, click the Submit the Withdrawal Application button. To exit the application for withdrawal without submitting, click the Home button, which will be located at the top of your embossed screen. A confirmation page will appear when your withdrawal application has been successfully submitted. You should keep a copy of this confirmation for your records. Click the Print View button to print or save your withdrawal confirmation. A W-4R form is automatically generated upon the submission of your withdrawal application. To print or save a copy of this document, click the completed W-4R button. This video is meant to provide a general overview and may not address every individual situation. If after viewing you have additional questions, please visit our website or contact the Division of Pensions and Benefits by telephone at 609-292-7524. You can email us at pensions.nj at trez.nj.gov. Or you can write to us at Division of Pensions and Benefits, P.O. Box 295, Trenton, New Jersey, 08625-0295.